In the circuit in the figure below, this one, assume there is no saturation and determine the output voltage and the output power at each one of the two op amps. That is, determine this VO1, this VO2, and also the power PO1 of this op amp, the power here and the output, and PO2, the power here. Do that, assuming there is no saturation. That is, in the first part, neglect the presence of the power supply voltages plus and minus 12, plus and minus 6 volts. Ignore them and proceed. Of the several ways to solve the circuit, I will utilize MNA. I have identified the nodes 1, 2, 3. What happens with this node? Well, this is an output node. I'm not going to write a case equation for that, or at least not while I'm solving for voltages. I'll do that later. The same applies to this output node. VO2, voltage. The current here is 0 amps. The current here is 0 amps. And the current here is 0 amps. That means all this current is 0 amps. The first two pump, this one, has negative feedback. And that means that V1 is equal to V2. Negative feedback equation for op-amp 1 is V1 equals V2. Okay, so for node 1. The current going in, this current, which is 12 volts minus V1 over 4, is equal to this current, which, of course, we know it's 0 amps, plus the one on the top, V1, minus V01, divided by 40. This is that equation. Now we write another equation, KCL equation for node 2. Currents going in the node, this one, 10 volts minus V2 divided by 4. That is equal to the currents leaving the node, this current, which is 0 amps, we know that, plus this current, which is V2 over 4. KCL for node 2. Observe that so far we have three unknowns, V1, V2, and V01. And we have three equations. We can solve the set of three equations with three unknowns and find the first of the answers needed, this one. V01, the output voltage of the first of BAMP. Those are the three equations. Let's solve them. Linear solver. OK, the answers are those. V01, the output voltage is negative 65 volts. And this is our first answer. V01 is negative 65 volts. We continue with this op-amp. In this op-amp, there is also negative feedback. Please observe this resistor. Mm, if there is negative feedback, of course, there will be one equation for that, and that is that this voltage, which is the same because there is no current in this resistor, there is no voltage drop across it, its value is irrelevant, and Vn is just V3. So the negative feedback equation for this second op-amp is merely V3 equals to Vp, which is 4 volts. V3 equals to 4 volts. Now we write a KCL equation for this node 3. KCL equation for node 3. Currents going in. Mm, this one, VO2 minus V3 over 3 ohms equals to the currents leaving the node. 0 amps plus V3 over 3. And the solution VO2 is 8 volts. To compute the output power of the first op amp, I need the current in this wire. The same way to compute the output power PO2 in this other op amp, I need the current in this wire. How do I compute that? Well, I can use an, a KCL equation in this node. Wait a minute, you say. You yourself warned us never to write a KCL equation for the output node of an op amp. Well, that is not exactly like that, as you have seen in the tutorials and in the assignments. The prevention was do not write a KCL equation when you're writing MNA equations. But after you know all voltages, we do, we can, and we will.
we say this output current of this op amp I O1 is the sum of this one VO1 minus VO2 divided by 3 plus this other current VO1 minus V1 divided by 40 and all of those are known voltages this is negative 65 this is 8 volts and this is 5 volts review your solution so we can compute those two currents and add them up to find IO1 that current turns out to be negative 26 amps this current actually is going into the op-amp and it's 26 amps I know what you're thinking that current is ridiculously high for an op-amp well remember this is an academic exercise with very small round numbers for resistances this is a final exam in real life these should have been kilo ohms and then currents would be milliamps and everything would be closer to normalcy that is the current of that one the output current so the output power of that op amp p01 would be that current i01 times this voltage v01 the output power of the first op amp turns out to be 1695 watts delivered power that huge value of power of course is the result of using ohms instead of kilo ohms in this exercise just to have round simple numbers for this examination for the other op amp we need this current the output current of the op amp i02 and that is using a KCL in this node this current vo2 minus v3 over 3 plus this current 8 minus minus 65 divided by 3 amps like so the output current of the second op amp is 25.7 amps mm -hmm. and the power the power the output power of that op amp will be vo2 multiplied by io2 like so again delivered power 205 watts we need to write that delivered power and that is the solution to part A of this exercise.